from France so let us know about your journey that uh, when you decided to you know make your own truck and then take your own family to an adventure of a lifetime so let us know about that yeah you're right it's an adventure of a lifetime yeah. um, well the reason for it is you know we, we work a lot uh, like everybody uh, in the world and then you kind of uh, try to save a little bit of money mm. and then you work more and more and more mm. apart from that we left France uh, early December last year Okay. So it's been seven months on the road now, wow. uh, something like 10 countries. Um, the most interesting countries for us, they've been outside of Europe because mm -hmm. you know the cultural shock is, is more interesting. So Turkey was the first one and then Iran, uh, an amazing country. Uh, Pakistan, we crossed Pakistan to go to India and you know a lot of people are afraid of Pakistan you know from from Europe the but also in going. India I know. Um, you know what I can say is we we mm -hmm. only met nice people everywhere you know you, do, you don't meet the bad people there are bad peoples everywhere um, and but hopefully we're gonna be only you know in touch with good ones and since we are in, uh, in India it's been going a couple of mechanical issues that you know <laughs> stopped the track for a couple of days in Manali okay. but the weather was great uh, you know we could have some relief from the, from the, the heat um, and now we are in Chandigarh and we're discovering this great place you know mm. so you know good company and uh, have a good time yeah so uh, look, just let our viewers know that if they have to plan such a trip so what kind of logistics and mechanics go in the uh, truck making in the traveling part and whatever okay like. yeah that's that's a very interesting question it's uh, it's gonna be a long answer but yeah. I'm gonna it's try okay. to, to make it short yeah uh, give, give us the Chris. First thing is the the logistic about the truck. You need actually to think what, where you want to go, which country you want to cross, uh, what kind of weather you're going to have, if you need space. When everything is done there, then you need to think about the paperwork. So, you know, if you travel in different countries, you're going to have to have visa. Mm -hmm. Visa for yourself, for your family, mm -hmm. but also for the vehicle. So if you bring a vehicle to India, for example, you need to have the carnet, okay? So it's mm -hmm. like a visa or passport for, uh, for the vehicle itself um, and that when that is done then you know just that's a, the big decision mm -hmm. when do you do it uh, do you quit your job do you have enough money uh, do you have a visa card or can you get cash or anything all of this is important because if you got if you're in a country you don't know you don't know people there you haven't got cash then you're stuck Apart from that, then it's all about interaction, uh, you know, getting the best of the, of the travel. Mm -hmm. Be respectful of the culture, be respectful of the people, be respectful of the religion, um, beliefs and anything. Whatever you believe, whatever the, the kind of habit you have in your life, if you go somewhere, it's not your environment. You have to change it. Exactly. So if you're respectful, if you show some respect to people, if you show some, you know, interest in their culture, Mm -hmm. Couple of words, you need to know how to say hello, how to say thank you, how to say bye bye. Mm -hmm. Try to do this in every country. It's not easy, but it's, it's feasible. Then people see you not like a threat, but more like, a, all right, that's an interesting person. Let's, let's go and interact with it. So how many countries have you covered till now? And how many countries are you going to cover after India? Uh, so far, I think I didn't count exactly, but I think it's about 10 countries. Mm -hmm. um, half of them were in Europe, so we didn't spend a lot of time there because, you know, Europe is, is kind of, uh, uh, you know, Western countries. We, I, I wouldn't say we know them, but we, we will have the opportunity to visit them later when we get older. I'm not that old, you could see, <laughs> I, I, but I'm not that old. Uh, um, but after India, we, I think we planned like 10 other countries. 
um, starting from you know Nepal and then we're going to go to Myanmar, uh, Thailand, uh, Laos, China and when we get to China uh, for us it's going to be I think the furthest point from home so we're going to have to start to think about driving back but we don't like to drive the same way we don't like to come back on the same road um, so we're going to find a way through China then to Mongolia uh, probably Kazakhstan, Russia or Russia, Kazakhstan or something like this and then back to Europe. Okay. That's the plan. Okay. After this when you go back to France, so uh, what would be the life like? You know, the schools for the kids, your jobs, Marion doing jobs, so how would it be? If, I, if I know, I would answer you, right? <laughs> Um, no, it just um, you talk about school, so let's start with this because that's the simple answer. Uh, we teach the, 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 the kids inside the truck, all right? Okay. So we liaised with the, uh, the teachers. That's something, you know, if, if, if other families want to do this, this is very important. Um, you want this to be the best for your, for your kids, you want them to learn things and you don't want them to be late at school when you come back. Mm -hmm. So liaise with the, with the school. We have books from the school, we have the notebooks, we have all, all the program, all the, the, the schedule. So we try to teach them like one or two hours a day. Uh, it's a routine, it's not easy. Uh, they prefer to learn from, uh, from teachers than from, from the parents. But anyway, do it. And uh, on the way back, you know, we, they're going to pass a couple of tests um, with schools and they're going to judge, you know, whether they can, they can go to the next level or, or come back to the, the, the normal level. We will see that. Uh, we hope obviously that they, they, they're not wasting their time and they're going to get the, to the next level. But more importantly, uh, answering the question, what are we doing when we go back home? Uh, we don't know yet if we go back home, right? It's, that's the whole point of doing a trip like this. The main, the main option is obviously to go back home. Right. Um, the second one is whatever happens during the trip, it may be so great in some countries or you have opportunities because you meet people. You, you don't only meet tourists, you can meet like people, you can meet like uh, entrepreneurs, you can meet like, you know, companies. Um, and maybe you can have opportunities in some countries to stay one year, two years. Uh, so the main, the, the, obviously the, the, the main option is to go back home in less than one year now it could turn like different so and when you travel you need to be open-minded and, and you know if you have different options consider them that's part of it be you know project yourself in the in the future and not always in the kind of the frame that you had before so what memories are you taking from india oh wow <laughs> a big question you know i've been to india i visited india in 2003 and my memory was a lot more uh, you know crowded, um, uh, kind of unrespectful in some situations and so far we, I was kind of not shocked but uh, it's been different. I can see a, a change. I think smartphones and internet have changed a lot uh, because people are more used to see you know foreigners and um, the interactions are, are more interesting. I think they are they are more friendly as well. Uh, so we have we're having a good time. Very good time. <laughs> So, uh, like last thing, just let our uh, like audience know what you want to say to them, like uh, some message, some message for the youngsters, because we are a youth-oriented channel. Excellent. So, some message for the youngsters, since you are also a youngster. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, that, that's yeah. clever. <laughs> Uh, I think, you know, we don't, we're not trying to prove anything by doing this. Uh, more people and more people are doing this. But still, you know, if some people can be inspired um, by us, then that would be the best compliment, the, the, the best gift that we can have. Um, whatever you want in your life, you have dreams. Um, it's going to take time maybe to, to achieve them. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just, uh, you know, um, trust yourself, uh, trust that you can do it. If it takes time, if you need money, you know, you work your, your ass off, you get some money, you put some money on the bank and keep this, this dream in your mind because, you know, you're going to build it, you know, year by year. And if it takes time, it doesn't matter because at the end, you're going to be so happy to actually do it. Um, yes, we have a big truck. You can do the same thing. You can travel around the world on a bicycle. Uh, you can walk, you can do whatever you want. But um, if you have a dream, just, uh, you know, just think about it, keep it in your mind work the work to do it and pursue your dreams because everything's possible you know incredible india they say so if it's that incredible i mean you are incredible you are the you are the incredible people 
we are, um, again, you know, we're not trying to prove anything. Second message, very important. Um, we are in India now, we crossed Pakistan before we came to India. And a lot of people here say, oh, Pakistan, you know, crazy, you know, we, we hate the country. There is no reason, I mean, there are many reasons, political reason, religious reason, whatever. Uh, but there is no reason to hate people wherever they are in the world. We, we met extremely good people in Pakistan. We met extremely good people in Iran. We met extremely good people in India. Um, I'm not talking about politics. I don't want to have any issues and I'm, and I'm not talking even religion. But you know, you have good people everywhere. So open your mind. Uh, you know, don't, don't get too, you know, too focused on, on some issues. If you want to travel, you will have to meet other people. You will have to, um, to, to talk to people who are not, you know, they disagree with you on some issues. This is not the, the big deal. We are all human, you know, we, we all want uh, love at some point or, you know, kind of achievements. We want some safety and security. Uh, if you're open-minded, you're going to have this. We never have, we haven't, we never had any issue during our trip uh, with people aggressive or security issue. And I think, I think that's, that's part of the reason because, you know, we just open our mind and we want, you know, to interact with people. So respect them, respect their belief, respect their religion, respect their culture and everything's going to be fine. Uh, we've been, uh, tomorrow will be one month in India. <laughs> I don't know how many kilometers we've, we've done. Um, so India, yes, w w before the trip we said, oh, where should we go? Uh, we want to go to Southeast Asia. We do want to go to India. Loic said, well, you know, 13 years ago, I went there, 15 years ago, yeah, I went there. I don't have a good memory. We said, let's say, yes, but it would be good to go, come, and it will be a completely different trip, I guess, with the family when you travel, it's different with the vehicle. We said, okay, let's see. Uh, is it going to be right season? Uh, no, it's going to be monsoon, hot. Well, <laughs> that's the way it is, so let's go. And so far we've been uh, extremely, it was, it's been a good surprise actually for, 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 for me, for um, um, also for Loic, I guess, very different from uh, 15 years ago. Um, when I came, the, the, what struck me was uh, uh, the, the colors, you know, very colorful. People tell you that when you come to India, you've got like a shock and it's what there, but so nice, you know, you, you feel a lot of energy. Um, from this country, from the people, people we met very nice people in Amritsar. Then we went up to the north, uh, for us, Mandi, Manali. Uh, unfortunately, we had some mechanical problems. So at, at the at the beginning, we we're saying, oh, maybe we don't have a good karma <laughs> for India uh, because many damages. But that's the way it is when you travel. You you expect to have some mechanical issues at some point. So we just took it easy as much as possible, trying to find always the balance, like you know, share tasks. Me, the kids, and Loix, or and still trying to enjoy. We met also very nice people there. And uh, now down in Chandigarh, Chandigarh, we came here just for repair. It was just we say, oh, we're just gonna try to re make good repair on the truck and go. And we meet you. We meet, you know, that we didn't expect to spend so much time and have a, a, such a nice time here in Chandigarh. So. Um, I hope, yes, I hope the, the rest of the trip in India will be like this. Uh, you know, have uh, making good experience for the kids also, uh, eating good foods and, you know, so even if it's hot, even if it's raining, we try to enjoy ourselves and uh, definitely we're really happy to be there. And yes, we one more month and yes, very good. <laughs> Hello, my name is Adrian. I I love India, it is my first time in India. Uh, I have a journal of the tour around the world. Um, I, I'm gonna show you my carnet. It starts from here. And then this one. Like this. And this one. And I like my journal because uh, it speaks about what I'm, am I doing and my family. Love India, Eclubum.